Greetings, Eric Goodwin from Burnham Racing in Chicago, Illinois here. And with this video, I wanted to take an opportunity and share my impressions of one of the newest arrows in the Colnago quiver, the Colnago CX-0. It's hard to believe that with a brand as well known as Colnago, it's possible to have a brand new frame go under the radar, but in the case of the CX-0, that's exactly how I feel personally. This bike will meet or exceed the needs of a massive majority of roadies, yet it's not nearly as well known as some of its siblings. You might not see this machine underneath the Euro Pros this summer, but that doesn't mean that the CX-0 deserves anything less than your full attention because this is a bike designed for the way most of us actually ride. It's a competition level race bike that isn't necessarily relegated to the road, as I'll cover in a moment. Its lines are modern and it takes some technological steps forward, but its geometry and handling actually harken back to the Colmago C40, one of the most decorated race bikes ever seen in the Peloton. I've been lucky to have this bike in my stable for the last six months. Here in Chicago, that probably means about six days of ideal riding weather, but that actually lets me, lets me bring up the CX-0's most notable feature, and that is the tire clearance. For an unfortunate majority of my time on this bike, I actually had it kitted out with a pair of SPD pedals compatible with my winter boots, and a set of Continental Top Contact tires, which are significant because they check in at a robust 28 millimeters wide. The real world implications are significant because at 28mm your tire options get really interesting, whether it's a bombproof touring tire like the Top Contact, or the Schwalbe Marathon, or a cobble eating race tire like the Challenge Perry Roubaix. The stock Camago CX-0 was outfitted with the new Altegra 11 speed 5034 compact, including the 6800 the wheel set. The components are what we expect from Shimano, if they don't work it's probably the fault of a human somewhere. Here in the Midwest, I don't honestly enjoy taking a compact drivetrain out on a group ride because with the right tailwind situation, you can kind of turn yourself into a spinning fool. However, if you're lucky you live somewhere hillier, which is pretty much anywhere, the compact drivetrain is a fine way to go. Hearing choices are always going to be personal, and truth be told, the conditions that I was riding the bike in this winter uh, were such that the compact gearing probably turned out to be an advantage. The wheel sit's really the star of this group set. The Shimano hubs have never gotten the street cred they deserve, and these Altegra wheels just reaffirm that. I've always felt that Shimano hubs hold their speed through corners as well or better than any of their peers, making them ideal for racing or keeping up in a pack setting, and a cost-effective version like the Seltegra wheel set is the perfect match for this bike because their versatility really reflects the versatility of the frame set. One thing worth noting is that the CX-0 has some newly designed hooded dropouts which do a great job of shielding your parts um, from the elements, but if your quick release skewer sticks out a little bit too far, uh, from the axle, it'll actually uh, be interfered with by those hoods, and so you actually want to practice your wheel uh, remounts and dismounts if you're planning on using this bike in a competition setting. So now, let's dig into this new frame set, the CX-0. Unless you're a Colnago loyalist, the naming and the marketing of Colnago frames can sometimes be a little bit tricky to say the least. Last year we saw the CX-1 leave the Colnago lineup and the CX-0 enter it. But these two frames are distant cousins at best, and the Zero shouldn't be confused as the replacement for the CX-1. The CX-1 is a brilliant race bike, but in terms of wide ride quality and handling, it's decidedly more race specific than this new offering, the CX-0. It's perhaps misleading that Colmago sandwiches the Zero into the endurance category on its website, mostly because I feel like in the United States, endurance might get a bad rap as being equated to a little bit slow and steady. Uh, this bike, with its lineage drawing back to the C40, is absolutely capable of tackling anything up to and including a Criterium or a road race. The performance and the ride quality of the bike start uh, exactly where you would expect at the repository for all that pedaling that you're doing. Uh, the bottom bracket of the CX-0 is as massive as any of Colmago's bottom brackets prior to the inter introduction of the new C60. And while some companies might trickle down technology from top models to the underlying tiers, in this case, the bottom bracket technology trickled up from the CX-0 to the C60. This is Colnago's first press fit bracket using the somewhat ubiquitous 86.5mm standard. While the C60 uses a proprietary 82.5 thread fit design, the CX-0 was nonetheless the first frame where Colnago felt like an oversized bottom bracket would really complement the design. The CX-0 excels in any number of surroundings but with this huge bottom bracket made it to some very uh, robust and highly sculpted chain stays. This is a, a powerful and exceptionally nimble platform for climbing and while not able to take it across the Alps, I really feel impressed with its, slightly feel, uh, its sprightly feel and its snappy acceleration 
uh, when things start to point uphill a little bit. I was really impressed with the bike on the rollers that we have here southwest of Chicago in the forest preserves. Endurance category or not, um, this bike is always going to have power to spare. The handling of the bike stands definitively apart from the other, other models of Klamago that I've owned. The CX-0 is somewhat like a great all-mountain carving ski. The bike just likes to make really intuitive and graceful turns. While its cornering is predictable and it could easily tackle a crit, the steering is probably not quite as quick as some of the other models in the Klamago lineup, so if you're going to be racing exclusively, that would be a consideration. But the reality is that many people really just want to get out there and ride far and ride as fast as possible. And that's what the CX-0 is all about, the big ride. With the wide tire clearance and the race bread and, and, but comfortable geometry and the predictable handling, at the end of a long rider race, the majority of us non-pros are going to have a lot more left in the tank after not getting as beat up as we would perhaps on a sheer Criterion bike. Just like the C40 and the do-it-all race machines from years past, the CX-0 isn't made to take on just Criteriums or just mountains or just manicured highways or just wind tunnels. It's meant to take on all of the above. It's the ultimate bike for a timed Grand Fondo or if you're trying to PR your next century, but it's also really an open invitation to push the boundaries of your riding. I'd encourage you to, to put some of those fat tires on there, quote unquote fat tires, and get out and, and explore that gravel road or throw some cinders into your next 100 miler, or for us Chicagoans, take the bike out on the next slushy training ride from any you know October to April. It might be under the radar, but and it might be a bike that's hard to categorize, but it's a fast, it's a beautiful, and it's a very versatile frame set that can really expand your riding horizons. It's the Komaga 6 Hero, and if you're looking for the big ride, you might actually just be looking for this bike. If you have questions about the CX-0, please post them in the comments, or keep your eyes out for future reviews from Burnham Racing. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Ride far, ride well, and, and ride safe, guys, and thanks for watching.